Christmas is a little over a week away. Hard to believe, right? But the big man's sleigh is likely getting packed as we speak. So one more weekend to get into the holiday spirit before the chaos and joy spills out into your living room. Sean Collier's weekend guide is packed with winter glee. And Sean, you even have a Funko doll to celebrate the season. A couple I have, of them. Uh, this is this is the entire line of the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. They just made the two, but with Selena talking about Christmas Vacation, and we'll have it uh, as well. That's kind of the theme of the episode this morning, yes, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to start with something that is classic and tradition here in Pittsburgh. Absolutely. One of the most long-running uh, and iconic holiday traditions in Pittsburgh is, of course, the Nutcracker by Pittsburgh Ballet Theater downtown at the Benetton Center. Uh, writing this, uh, this week's weekend guide for Pittsburgh Magazine reminded me that th these are some of my earliest memories of going downtown. Is that big holiday trip, maybe you go shopping, maybe you get lunch, but you go to the Benetton Center and see the Nutcracker with the iconic music, but all of the costumes, all of the sets, snowing on the Benetton stage, and we keep seeing little bits of the Rat King. The Rat King remains just spooky enough. You know, I need everything to be at least a little bit spooky. That good kind of, like the Wicked Witch of the West. You know, that nice little element for a family entertainment. It's a beautiful show. Of course the dancers are so talented, but more than that, it really gives kids this impression, wow, we go downtown and we see this beautiful work of art once a year. It's such a special uh, holiday tradition in Pittsburgh. Really is. Yeah, it's I agree really with you, Sean. It's really, it's like magical, the costumes yeah. and the staging. Mm -hmm. It's always great. So one thing I love to do over the holiday seasons is watch old movies, old Christmas movies, but now you can see them on the big screen. Yes, more and more over uh, recent years, we've been seeing theaters revive those holiday classics uh, at a couple of different theaters in town. Of course, we know Row House does it, even some of the bigger multiplexes do it. And this week, a great opportunity to get out to the beautiful Tull Family Theater in Swickley. Uh, if you haven't been to this theater, if that's not your neck of the woods, it's a gorgeous place, a new place, beautiful location to see a film. And this weekend, they have four Holiday classics. Of course, we see the iconic A Christmas Story. I know you're going to watch, you know, an hour of it on, on TV a week from now. Watch the whole thing in the movie theater. They'll be showing A Christmas Story, Elf, uh, It's a Wonderful Life, of course, the all-time classic, and, yes, the theme of the day, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Really, that true spirit of Christmas, as Beverly D'Angelo said. I don't know what else to say, except it's Christmas. And we're all in misery. You can experience <laughs> that. You know, we Heather leave... was quoting. Heather has every line at the ready. Well, she does. The, the one that we can't say is one of the most famous, but that's not for TV. Of course. And, and, and no, people who love the movie know what it is. Yeah. This next thing sounds like something you would like to do. Heather. This sounds awesome. In fact, one of my neighbors sent, uh, sent me information on this because she is so excited about it. I don't know if the name is fitting for this Friday night, but Shiver by the River is coming up. <laughs> they came up with this great clever name shiver by the river for an outdoor december festival and it'll be you know 50s what did ron say the hottest december on record that's fine it's still going to be a great event uh, at allegheny river trail park You're, you'll see it in slightly more uh, green times right there but it looks about the same right now this is the former aspenwall riverfront park right along the allegheny well they've done a lot they've rebuilt it and they have great events like shiver by the river this is this friday night from 6 to 9 p.m there will be live music fire pits food from farmer x baker wine and beer because it's the holiday season we need our wine and beer holiday lights there'll be a pop-up from the children's museum uh, just a great outdoor event those fire pits maybe we won't even need them get outside it's still beautiful out uh, and you'll have a great chance for an outdoor event this friday night at allegheny river trail park and you may not even need the shiver for it. No, this, that this park Friday is such night. a hidden gem. I, I had a live yeah. shot there this summer, and it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I know about it. All right, Sean, great stuff as always. Good to see you. Good to see Sean. you. I should have mentioned with the Nutcracker as well, Friday night, this is very important, they're doing their first ever sensory-friendly performance for kids who might not be able to see that show normally. Now there's a performance just for them. Wanted to sneak that in since it's such a cool thing they're doing. We're seeing so much more of that coming around, and I think what a great way to be able to include everybody. Yeah, really, really important. Nice. Thanks, Sean. Especially this season. Yeah. Yep, have a good weekend and a good Christmas. Bye, Sean. Bye. Remember, you can catch Sean's Weekend Guide each Thursday right here on PTL and in Pittsburgh Magazine online.
Coming up, are you up to date in the world of streaming? If not, Mikey, your tech report will catch you up to speed and it's perfect for the binge watching in store for the next couple of weeks. And today's free care fun story isn't what you're used to. Instead of patient profile, we're taking you for a ride. Find out what these cars have to do with today's benefit show and how some L's with auto tech experience are involved. Catch up with Santa's helpers and the big man himself coming up next.